did you want to read on to Chris's comment or uh, help pop into another topic here? Or your first well, topic, I should say. Let me see. Well, from there, he, he gets into to some personal beliefs he has about the way he looks at stuff. And that's fine, you know. Uh, hmm. I'm not here to debate anyone or anything. And really, on my channel, I'm just going to share what I hold, you know. And uh, most people that watch it will hopefully... I. I hope they'll find at least a couple things they can take into their own personal view, you know, as they're developing their own view. But um, I don't know. I, I don't. I'm not going to debate people on different stuff, you know. Yeah. So, no. It, it, well, it would, I mean, I think being a good comment that he left there's nothing wrong with talking about it but like yeah i mean if our channel got any sort of ground i mean we'd be spent forever commenting right stuff right um, right i don't, I don't want to get uh to where i'm responding to a lot of people all the time but it's a good comment he's had a few good comments on there um good i thought i had the here we go yeah i've got his fuller comment here though Genesis 6 is, in my mind, simply the angels enacting their plan for their Messiah. See, he has some something he's seen in Scripture over the years he's referring to there, and that's fine. People are going to mm -hmm. have people are going to have their what they see, you know, usurping man's dominion on earth. Uh, I don't know. I can see someone looking at the Nephilim. Is that like they were trying to take over man's dominion or something? I don't know. I suppose there's a there's a lot of different directions you can take these ideas, and it's up to the individual Bible student thinking about it and try to follow the most down to earth way of looking at things. And that's just my advice to people out there you know i know i get into nephilim and fallen angels which is wild stuff i know uh <laughs> yeah and my view on the garden of eden itself is very supernatural a lot of people just could never believe that and that's okay you know but i think my view is pretty down to earth <laughs> compared to some things you hear out there I, th I think what makes your theory so cool is it just you're able to answer questions that others really haven't been able to, like just kind of so, some you know some questions have just have been just hypotheses and left at that, like the garden, like location of the garden and when evil kind of originated. But you're able to answer these questions: when did the angels fall? So even though th these ideas certainly prob probably sound crazy. You can answer questions that never really been answered before, or at least answer them more logically than what they have been before. And on top of it, with the garden being located in Jerusalem, you've even um, excavated old Jewish thought as well, which is quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting how much of this connects back to the the ancient Jewish way of looking at it. A lot of it, lots of, lots of things. My view has more in common at times with the ancient rabbinical take on things than it does with, you know, the the medieval church or whatever. And people will see that as they watch the videos, you know, and that's fine, because I'll I'll try to send them to the to the source text you know targums and stuff like that so it's amazing how much the Jews saw long before the current uh, sort of situation where because of scientific inquiry like uh, young earth creationists are kind of forced to rethink things today 
And it's funny when you look into it and find Jews saying things long ago that, uh, you know, like Noah's flood wasn't the first flood. Just things like this that blow you away. It's like, wow. They, and God created many times and then selected this one as the one he loved and stuff. It's just really interesting, you know. Yeah, it's. I think it's further proof that just um, for probably. I think we know why. I think just. I don't know. Uh, a questioning of what to do after AD seventy and the medieval age and and the, the influence of the Catholic Church and traditionalism, but these just old thoughts and ideas just kind of got lost, I guess, throughout time, and you know, they were never really revisit or at least weren't revisit very much and but these were original ideas that probably make more sense and you know, they really do make more sense than some of the ideas that we hold now at least from a traditional perspective mm -hmm. i understand that some of the the jewish texts though um can get into some pretty uh weird stuff at least you know from talking to you about it but i think you know a good amount of it or or at least some of it can still be extremely helpful to understand what the what the uh, Old Testament is about, especially the Pentateuch. Mm 